Don't worry, Gorby. It just means we get to hike some more. I love to hike. Hiking is great, but I want to get to the waterfall. Me too. Everybody does. So let's get hiking. That waterfall is here somewhere. We just need to find it. Yeah, but how would that do that? A frog. Huh? A frog? A poison dart frog. Wait. Wow. Guys, look. There's another one. Aw, it's so cute and tiny. Ooh, careful, Nash. Poison dart frogs are one of the most poisonous animals in the world. It carries its poison right on its skin. You wouldn't want to disturb an animal in the wild anyway, Nash. Such bright colors and cool patterns. Oh. Wow. I wonder why they're so colorful. Most other rainforest animals try to hide or blend in. So what's their deal? I think they want to be seen. Maybe because the skin of the poison dart frog is where all the poison is. Its bright color is actually a warning to any animals that try to eat it. I get it. The color says, hey, back off. I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all. But what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dart frogs. Wow! Wow! Ooh. Wow! And they're on the move. Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter. You think they're headed to the waterfall? Nine. Everyone eight, eight, out! Seven, now! Six, ah! five, ah! four, three, two, one. Eject everything out. My running shoes! My rock collection! Our instruments! Bouncy ball! Bouncy oh. ball! Pretty flower! Phew! Our stuff! It's everywhere! Oh man. Whoa! It's okay, Chester. I got it. Don't worry, Marco. I got it! Whoa! Teddy! Mm-mm. Teddy. Bouncy ball. Aww. Aww. We'll never get our stuff back into the polo mobile. Whoa, ants. Let me get this out of your way. Oh, and this. Oh, ah. Check out all the ants. Hey. Wow! Cool, lucky! They're carrying something! Yeah, it looks like little bits of leaves. Where do you think they're going? Let's follow them and find out. Look at that! This must be where the ants live. When ants work and live together, it's called a colony. I wonder what kind of ants these are. Oh, look it up! Looks like they're leaf cutter ants. There are leaf cutter ants all over the rainforest. So they cut up leaves and bring them back to the colony to eat? Actually, no. They chew up the leaves and they're turning them into goo. So they eat the goo? This is the amazing part. Another living thing called fungus grows its spores on the goo as it decays. The ants eat the fungus that grows from the spores. Unbelievable. They cut up the leaves to feed the fungus, and then they eat the fungus. These ants are fungus farmers. Wow, there are so many of them. It says there can be eight million ants in a colony. That's a lot of leaves to cut, goo to chew, and fungus to farm to feed everybody. They must have to be really well organized to get everything done. I'll see Gorby before he sees me. 
Cool. An iguana. Whoa! Whoa. Aha! Found you, Lily. Aw, and I had a great hiding spot. Um, no offense, Lily, but sitting on the ground, not a great hiding spot. I mean, I had a great hiding spot until an iguana came along. Hey, we saw an iguana too. It's weird. I was sitting up in that tree and scared it somehow. But it wasn't looking up at me. Like it had eyes on the top of its head. Wait a minute. I've heard of something like that. Iguanas have something called a parietal eye on top of their heads. Hey, I was kind of right. But it's not a real eye. It can't see anything clearly. It only sees changes in light. Oh, so it probably noticed when I moved around in the tree. Or more likely, that hawk. Hawks eat iguanas, you know. They eat them? Well, that's a good reason for the iguanas to run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we was the only one left. Let's go find her. <laughs> hmm. Snake? Did you say snake? Where? Where's the snake? There! Corby, that's not a snake. You just said that to make me come out. <gasps> no, I didn't. And if it's not a snake, what is it? Now, no, don't, don't wait. touch it! What's that thing? You know, I think that's an iguana's tail. Oh, the poor iguana. The iguana is fine, Willow. Look, that iguana has lost its tail. Oh, the poor iguana. No, look, not at all. When an iguana gets caught or feels threatened, it can quickly detach its tail, which means drop off. Oh, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't worry. The iguana can grow a new tail. <gasps> cool! <laughs> iguana tail! <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, um, maybe no. later. Nah, I think the hope. Iguana tail! <laughs> That's what's making the noise. Along with all of the other ones. Oh, wonder it's so loud. What kind of insect is this? I'm looking up insects that make buzzing noises. Look, grasshoppers. Hmm, not even close. How about this one, crickets? It's kind of the same, but not quite. And it's not shaking its abdomen to make noise. Well, there's this one. That's it. It's a cicada. It says here that cicadas are the loudest of all insects. Ooh, I'll say. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but why are there so many of them everywhere? And why do they make so much noise? And why did it just suddenly start all at once? It's like they all just showed up at the same time. It says here that cicadas lay their eggs in the branches of trees. When the eggs hatch, they're called nymphs, and they burrow into the ground. Cicada nymphs can live underground for as long as 17 years. That's incredible. Look at this. When the ground gets to the right temperature, it's crawling out. All of the nymphs come out around the same time. So that's why there are so many of them. The nymphs crawl into the trees, and then... Wow! Wow, it's changing! changing. And it's leaving behind an empty shell just like the ones we found. But why are they so noisy? I bet they're calling to each other. Right, trying to find other cicadas. Male cicadas make that noise. It attracts other males and females to the area. All of the males sing together. It says that's called a chorus of cicadas. Lots of cicadas? 
Lots of noise. Good luck, Cicada. Make as much noise as you need. Hey, there's another one. They found each other. That's wonderful. But I think we should find another place to camp. Definitely. It's way too noisy around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>